Hello. Hello. Yes. How is it Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air in YouTube. Everybody hear you. What do you want to say to me, my friend? Okay, I, I was listening to all these. Um, just checking your references you give in against my Quran. Hmm. Either you are a filthy fat liar, or all the imams since I was a child hmm. have been lying to me because okay. Islam. I was taught hmm. Surah Baqarah at two. Uh, five six it says like Rafidin, there is no compulsion in in religion. Okay, and then another surah, for instance, says um, Surah Kafirun at six means your religion is yours, mine is mine, mm. and it's meant to be a peaceful religion. But you are just throwing too many things. I can't even you know search for. Her. Okay, where where do you get these things let us, from? Let us. It's in my head, my friend. I'm a walking library. Let us go one by one. You said Islam means peace, correct? Yes. All right. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29? Order the Muslims to fight and to kill all the Christians. Either they pay the jizya and they no. convert or they die. If it's in the time of war, I wouldn't uh, worry about hold it. Hold on, my friend. But my friend, hold it's on. It's not. Uh, okay. And yes. that's in the time of war, but the Christian did not wage war on you. It's you waging war. Read with me carefully. This is your Quran. And I can open for you any translation you wish. Which translation you like most? It doesn't really matter as, as far as it's translated. Okay. Muhammad Yusuf Ali, I'm Muslim. I'm not going to use any translation. But the, it's, it's the, the problem is, you're, you're, you're sharing another translation. They all contradict each, each other. I don't know who to listen to. Okay, that's why I'm asking you which translation you like. Uh, go to Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is, Al -Jalalain more is authentic, a translation. Uh, Al Jalalain is tafsir. Yeah, tafsir. Okay. Tafsir all, right. all right, so we will go to a tafsir a Jalalain. Or to be of Ibn Kathir. Or no or problem, no be, problem. Let us go to, okay, Ibn Kathir, you want Ibn Kathir? Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, please. Ibn Kathir, okay, Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. It's, it's, all right. Shocking. It's not, it's, it can't be true. All right, we will see if it's true, my friend. And as you said, either I'm a filthy liar or they are filthy liars. <laughs> One of us have to be. All right, so. This is Ibn Kathir. I will show it to you in the screen. And remember, okay. this is your choice, not my choice. You wanted the Jalalain. I said, okay, I will show you Jalalain. You said Ibn Kathir. I will show you Jal whatever you want. This is Ibn Kathir. You see, it says Ibn Kathir. You see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> this is Ibn Kathir. And let me zoom out so you can see better and read better. Fight, fight those who okay, no, believe let's not see, in it. Let's go to verse number nine because this is many. Here he's explaining, uh, etc. You, you speak Arabic, I'm assuming, do you? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And then we can even read in Arabic. But let us go in our English now. Uh, fight against those who believe not uh, in Allah, nor the last days, nor what is forbidden, which is for, for them by Allah and His Messenger, and those who acknowledge not the religion of the truth from the people of the scriptures. Okay, why he want to fight them? Because they don't acknowledge the following things the last day of Islam, what is forbidden by Islam. And the message of Islam. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the reason to kill them? Because they don't acknowledge. And I think the verses are clear. Now, let's read Ibn Kathir. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. And read carefully. Ibn Kathir now is making his commentary. Saying, subdued. Sub Where does it say that? Like, here we go. This is what the Quran is saying. You, you speak Arabic, right? It says Sagirun, yes. Sagirun, Sagirun means subdued, humiliated. Sagirun. Okay, little, little, therefore, yeah. <laughs> therefore, this is Ibn Kathir talking now, not the Quran. Therefore, when people of the scriptures disbelieved in Muhammad and they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what the messenger brought, rather than follow their own their religion, because this is uh, 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 confront with their ideas, lost. And the ways of their uh, 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 forefather, not because they are Allah law religion. They had been true believers in their religion. That faith would be has directed uh, them to believe in Muhammad. So, because they are not to believe in Muhammad, obviously they are liars, correct? And then he says, because all the people gave the good news to Muhammad, etc. Blah 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 blah. They believe in Muhammad, and look here what he said. That's harsh. Their religion, these religions, mm. came from Allah, but because this is sweet, their desire and lust. Therefore, their claimed faith is earlier, uh, an earlier prophet will not benefit them 
because they disbelieved in the master and uh, uh, the most of the last and the most perfect of the prophet hence Allah statement so because they did not believe in Muhammad it's not because they are fighting Muhammad I think the, the proof is clear correct because mm -hmm. of that look what it says fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last etc to the end of the verse and then it says this honorable ayah was revealed with the order to fight the people of the book after the pagan were defeated so Muhammad now he killed all the enemy who's left he killed the Jews he killed the you know he killed the, the, the Arab now it's time to finish those Christians and Jews so uh, the people enter into Allah religion in large numbers so Muhammad now have a big army because people are scared terrified and the Arabian Peninsula was secure under Muslim control Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures Jews and the Christians on the ninth year ninth years of the Hijra he prepared an army to fight the Roman <laughs> it's not the Roman who fighted him he sent a letter to the Roman saying convert or die now uh, you say to me battle you specifically referring to what which battle it doesn't matter he decided this is Tabuk supposedly Muhammad he went to Tabuk but he could not make it because uh, uh, he could not get in you know uh, like uh, he was hoping to be able to attack but looked like they were ready for him so he was not able to attack and he came back after waiting for for uh, for some time in Tabuk but then as you see here you said to me Islam teaching you that uh, you have your religion I have mine there's no conclusion in religion blah so this is in the beginning you see is what you know you speak Arabic and you should know better that in Islam there's something is called abrogation yeah, when, Mansur, when yes. Muhammad he was weak he said okay you have your religion I have my religion because he cannot force them but, but as you see here but, and I, I a verse could be easily abrogated by uh, it's um, divine uh, which is Allah no problem no problem but there's what, no so, problem with that okay but no you, problem, keep, but, you keep but, you keep but insulting Islam by saying it's why, a cult hold on why, why cult? you are quoting for let me let me translate a cult for you my let, friend, let my me friend. tell you just, what just cult wait, is, just my wait. friend wait, wait why you are quoting for me a verse which is abrogated it's not valid because al kafir okay, and the other verse is not valid it's abrogated by the chapter cult, of Atoba. cult is a system cult is a system which is directly personally directed towards somebody towards someone a personal figure yes okay mm. so if you if you give me a verse mm. okay any verse mm. been abrogated by um, Allah it's no problem but you can never find a verse been abrogated by Muhammad himself oh no you are wrong I can find it tons no, you cannot find me a single okay. one. You're okay. just making it up, just throwing, throwing too many things. People cannot pick okay. it up. Okay, okay. Let us finish this one, and I promise you I will go right away, and I will show you the verses which Muhammad abrogated. But let us agree that what you said about peace, is, is it was not, I'm, I'm not going to say you are lying. I will say it was not true. Read carefully. Here it says, The Messenger of Allah marched, heading toward Asham to fight the Roman, and they reached the book. Uh, where he set a camp etc for etc so he could not you know he could not do it he came back and the condition until they pay the jizya if they do not choose to embrace Islam so why we have to pay jizya because die or pay and with willing submission well, in defeat, everybody's paying jizya what's, the, what's wrong with that no no you no, live no, in America, no, you no, pay no, taxes. no 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 this is our land how we pay land our, uh, the, the American occupy Iraq they will force them to pay jizya because the American occupy them to protect them from the American it's what your prophet is saying and look what he says it says in the verse and feel, feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated uh, 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 like etc therefore the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims for they are miserable disgraced humiliated Muslim reported that Abu Huraira Allah the Prophet said don't initiate Salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the narrowest alley which means the sewage this is why the leader of the faithful Omar al Khattab may Allah pleased with him demand his will no his well known conditions to be met by the Christians these conditions that ensured their continued humiliation disgrace etc do you see it 
Mm -hmm. So you are saying to me that Islam says you have your religion. I have mine those people They have no guilt except they are Christians and now you want to humiliate them Because they refuse Islam. This is their crime That's not what I was taught But I'm showing you the proof and you are the one who asked me to read the make it here Obviously, I'm working and living in a Christian country. Okay, my friend. And I'm dealing and okay. working with Christians and no Jews. Problem. They respect me so much. No problem. I'm not saying anything. I'm not I saying. Can't I'm not, my friend, use this verse against them. My friend, I'm not talking about you. This is not about you or me. You might be a wonderful person, but this is not about you and me. This is religion. So you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. I I quoted for you life on on air. What you choose, correct? It was your choice so obviously Islam is not what some Muslims they think you are a Muslim but you've been taught that uh, the Prophet says you have my religion you have yours this one when he was weak it's abrogated now we prove to you that the first thing you say to us about Islam give a freedom of a choice that is a big fat lie they told you even the Prophet of Islam he says I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and no Prophet but Muhammad and if they do so only if they do so I will stop killing them and shedding their blood and here we go all those hadith are sahih and they are accurate you have you have not only not only you have to say the shahada you have to pray as we pray you have to fast as we fast you have to face the qibla you have to pay the zakat is it a hadith? And, then, and this did, is hadith. This, is sahih. this is sahih it doesn't matter hadith or not this is sahih yeah no, sahih did you say it's a hadith or, or Quran? My friend, this is hadith and sahih, but it okay. is in total agreement with Could chapter you, 9, verse 29. No. Could you show on the screen, please? I'm showing it on screen. You don't see it? It's not coming up. Okay, well, maybe you need to refresh your page. Let me refresh it. One second. Right. I have been ordered to fight the people till they say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and if they say so pray like our prayers face our Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally and their reckoning will be with Allah so what does that mean? Uh, what's the Sahih number no, three nine two? Sahih al Bukhari three Let nine two. I go I go sunnah dot com. Let me check. Sorry, I need to check. I don't trust anyone anymore. No Bukhari, right? Yeah. So that means. So this, if this is true, hmm. it abrogates. I have. 256 Surah Baqarah and Surah Kafirun and the chapter at Tawbah abrogate everything because Quran is more powerful right so the Quran and the Hadith here confirm that what you said to me in the beginning it was not really accurate and this is the truth but tell me one thing is it anywhere in the Quran backing up the Hadith we keep taking the Hadith for granted no I just but I just showed you the Quran first and now I was showing you the Hadith I did not show you the Hadith first and the Quran second so the any hadith, ayat, any verse in the Quran saying you must listen to hadith. Oh yeah, there's tons of them, because the the show, Quran, show okay, me one. Okay, hold on. The Quran says, whatever the prophet. If Quran you, doesn't back up the hadith, the hadith can no, go no, invalid. Yeah, no problem. Let me show you. I will show you tons of reference. Chapter fifty-nine, verse number seven. Whatever the prophet he gave you, you take it. So you take what the messenger assigned to you. Whatever he says to you, you take it. It is an order. <coughs> you see it? Yeah, yeah. I Chapter see. 59, verse number 7. Let us see more. There's many. There's too many. All right. And the Quran says too that whoever uh, whoever uh, obey all uh, the messenger he obey Allah <laughs> all right we will be carefully please and you will see chapter 4 verse number 80 he who obey 
the messenger obey Allah. He who obeys messenger. Correct. Let me check. I got Talal Itani Quran. Let me check how he is. It's obviously all against each other. You can't. You, you don't know who who to listen to. No, it's uh, it says confirming he, that you have to obey Muhammad first. Because obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah, so which means Muhammad. No, that's is a... wrong. That's that's no no good. I don't I don't obey a, a person rather than God. No, friend, it's not up to you. This is your Quran. You are a Muslim. You have to obey. Um, it's uh, eighty years old. What? Uh, what? Yeah. Do, you, do you want my help? So you uh, did we confirm this one? No, 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 I, I, I can't deny this. Okay, so if was Muhammad a god? He's a perfect god. He's a god, or he's is a human like us. Uh, should he should have been a human? Okay, and because do, do he human, clearly saying Abdul Abdu Rasul. Okay, do human do error and mistakes and commit sin? Was Muhammad of a sinner? Course. Was Muhammad a sinner? Yes, he okay. was. Okay, the Quran confirmed that too. Thank you. I make it easy for me. So now. How you can obey a sinner and by obeying the sinner, me or you? No, or you Muhammad. can't obey, you cannot never obey a sinner. Okay, so it says here, he obey the messenger, obey Allah. To assume, I wouldn't, to assume that I, I can I obey, I Muhammad. don't allow my children to kiss my hands either. I don't like my friend, people. I'm not, you see, I'm talking about you or me with my respect to you. I'm talking about this is what the Quran is saying in order to obey Allah, you obey Muhammad first. And this is not my translation. And you speak Arabic, huh? Okay, okay, so it's clear. So you have to obey Muhammad. Now, you said to me when we were talking about Ibn Kathir and killing Christians, you said to me, There's no single verse in the Quran was abrogated by Muhammad. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what about the muta? Muta, uh, um, well, I've, I've read this briefing about muta. Muta was allowed in Quran. Okay, chapter four. The same chapter, allowed it too. The same chapter we are pra uh, reading from, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Okay, and do you practice muta today? No. Why? Because my wife is going to kill me. <laughs> this is not the question. This is not because of no. Iran. I don't. I don't believe muta is 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 not. Uh, no, it's filthy. It's like okay, to so me, why, mut so, sounds like a prostitution okay, business. Okay, thank you. I respect your your honesty. You agree that this is a prostitution. So why Allah allowed the muta? Because muta is ujra. It's for uh, you pay money for it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's not a free service. It's it's you exactly. pay somebody to have sex. Exactly. This is what muta means. Exactly. Actually, even most Muslims agree that this is about renting a woman mustajara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So why Allah He allow you? You just said it's prostitution. Why uh, Allah He allow you to rent women? Uh, all, all I'm, all I have been trying to do all these years in my life, um, asking these verses, but I just, you know, convincing myself they're probably a different time of life. Mm. Okay, but let us go different back. Needs, no problem. But but no, you see, see why did Musa allow people to do muta before Muhammad? Muhammad uh, Musa is a lot older. Did Jesus allow muta? No, I mean that's not. Uh, that's not a reason. I mean, if, if if we want to find reason, we can find reason for anything. Like you might say to a man who is a rapist, "Why you rape this woman? Oh, she was wearing short skirt." <laughs> but that would not change the fact that you are a rapist, correct? If you ask him, no, he's, he wanna he, he's a thief. Why you stole? Oh, uh, this guy he have a lot of money, but still you are a thief. You know this is not excuse. Look what it says right. here. This is your Muslim website and those audio scholars saying that Muslim women. When she have the contract of muta, in some works, a special terms applied. Women who practice muta, musta ajara, or rented women, muta is considered as a kind of rental, 
because in general a man basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women and in the return of his enjoyment of the women he pay money as you say all right so you agree the scholars of the Muslim agree that this is a rental now was the muta abrogated by Allah yes where should have been because the Sunni is not doing it anymore only no the problem. Shia no um, problem okay but I'm asking people you, people stop doing me, it Shia is doing it in Yemen friend, and Iran you remember my friend you said to me show me where Muhammad he abrogated the muta this is in the hadith you said to me mm -hmm. show me where the hadith abrogate the Quran the hadith show me. abrogate the Quran here we go we go to the hadith if if this is correct hmm. it, it goes into a form of cult because a personal cult not even a cult a personal very very personal cult because a man cannot bypass a god's order all right simple as that well you see when you called me in the beginning you said why you but show me Islam. the hadith please okay no problem when you when you uh, when you call me in the beginning you said to me why you keep insulting islam saying that islam uh, let me find uh, some hadith okay yeah we need to to prove it not just uh, I never, saying I never, cult. You know, you are watching for long, I think, already, and you, you noticed that I never said something without proof. And I'm doing the same with you, the same as I do with everybody. So nothing, it's nothing uh, new. All right, let's see. Uh, it's uh, let us uh, find one of the hadith. There's tons of them, but we will find the most authentic ones. All right, Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, whatever you wish. Uh, let us go with this one right in the top Sahih Muslim hadith number 1406 you see it the page mm -hmm. all right the messenger of Allah said oh people I had permitted you to contract muta with women but Allah forbid it now until the day <laughs> of resurrection <laughs> Where he forbid it? There's no Quran. Muhammad is uh, Muhammad is Allah. Remember this verse. Muhammad is Allah. Abrogated. There's no verse abrogated. Uh, this is hadith. Only yes, hadith. yes. I I have my friend. Two years ago, I have confronted an imam, a very very big imam in London. Okay, hmm. and he he gave Surah Nur ayat thirty three. He said that um, that action, that mut'a, um, was abrogated in the Quran. Where? Before Muhammad. Where? Surah Nur, Surah Al Nur, Ayat 33. Okay. And Nur, we will go to An Nur. All right. Here we go, 24. 33? Yes. Okay. He, he told me a story about uh, yeah, that's Abdullah false. Saluli. That's, that's, uh, that's false, my friend. There's nothing here have to do with the mut'a. This is about wearing, covering their clothes. What does have to do with the muta? That's false, and you will not find anyone even agree with this. Surah Al Nur, Ayat thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, thirty-three. Yes. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, how this is ab abrogating the muta? Actually, this verse alone should make you leave Islam. This verse legalizes prostitution. No. Yeah. We'll read with me. One second. Read with me carefully. It says, "But force not your slaves for prostitution." When they yeah, desire chastity, in order that you make a gain in the goods which may make money of this life, but if yeah. any of you compels them, yet after that Allah is all merciful and forgiving. So, uh, what the Quran is saying, and I think you speak Arabic, you it's, speak English, so it's very clear it's, that um, if they agree with you, if they agree with you, you can do prostitution. Force them not. Force them not to do prostitution. He did not say prostitution is forbidden. Force them not. Huh? Force them not. Okay. So if they agree, it's okay. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful anyway. <laughs> and we're here, we're in this verse is saying that you know a muta is uh, is uh, is abrogated by this verse. There's nobody, there's no Muslim in the world believe in this. <coughs> If Allah is Rahim for who? 
for it the... doesn't matter there's no penalty there's no punishment and and prostitution is allowed another example another example Allah he sent down 10 verses for breastfeeding you yeah. mean um, breast breastfeeding like for men kids? for men no for men would you mean breastfeeding for what for men Allah he allowed yeah. Muslim women to give their breast to a strange man to suckle them ten times. What in the Quran? My friend, this is in the Quran, yeah. This is was in the Quran, but it's not in the Quran no more. And the wife of Muhammad, she used to order uh any women, anyone, any man who want to enter upon Aisha to suckle the nieces or the sisters of Aisha. Read with me carefully. Yahya related to me from Malik, from etc., from 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 Ram, that Aisha, the mother of the believer, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister, Umm Kathum, been to Abi Bakr, a Saddi, and he said, Sucker him ten times so that can come to see me. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you, where is this chapter? Where is this verse in the Quran now? No, you can't see anything in like, like that in the Quran. Okay, where it is? I don't know. You tell me. I will tell you. No problem. If it's nowhere, if it's not in the Quran, it doesn't exist. No, it exists. But what happened? A god did eat it. So we can say in this case, it's not really Muhammad who abrogated this. It was the goat. Read with me carefully. The verse of stoning to death and breast stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. Down there it says, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. <laughs> How you can abrogate something in recitation? I mean, this is funny. <laughs> this is shocking, not funny. For me, it's funny. It's stupid, too. Stone and breastfeeding, not just one. Yeah, but this meant to be memorized. Okay, no, it's not. That was the time no, when the friend, Quran was the not Quran, written. My friend, all the Quran at that time was memorized anyway. So when you say meant to be, did Allah says to you which one you memorize, which one you write down? No, He gave you a Quran, and then later uh, uh, Uthman he decide what to write down. And as you see, even the God ate what is written. It was not meant to be memorized. It's written, and it was under the pillow. Of Aisha, which is the pillar of Muhammad, so it's meant to be written. This is why the goat ate it. Otherwise, if it's only memorized, well, the goat will not be able to eat something memorized. Don't know what to say to be honest. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the mosque tomorrow evening and in front of everybody confronting these imams because they okay, each but... translation contradict the other. They are, I, I don't understand why should I lie about my God if if you can challenge my God I don't need this God if a Christian prince an Arab from nowhere could challenge my God I don't need this God okay well, obviously, my God my writing God. my God's book the Quran should challenge billions of Christian prince well, but he cannot why these people lie about it I don't understand like you know, remember when you called me, you said to me, you are lying about Islam? No, I didn't say that. I said, you either a fat liar, as you, you keep repeating yourself, yeah, or... But you are assuming that I'm lying, obviously, right? You were assuming I have, or not. I've been in Islam since the age of five, since I literally remember. Hmm. And about 40 years of my life, I've been praying to Allah, okay? And you... I. As I talk, believe me, my, my hand is shaking. It's it's very hard to talk about this, to question this book. It's been so holy to me. You know, it's like somebody skinning me alive. Very hard. I understand, my friend. But as you see, we are not lying to you. And I'm showing you everything right in the front of your eyes. No, no, obviously, I'm, I'm writing all these references. And we'll, we'll confront these uh, mullahs because they are blind to people. He told me that at 33, Surah An-Nur abrogated that mut'ah. 
but it was well obviously it was my fault i didn't secondly, thoroughly, secondly, uh, secondly you said that al muta is prostitution what kind of god he allow prostitution well not uh, is is more than prostitution yeah so what the point no. of allowing prostitution i mean a man he want to have sex go and get married but I, no no but I was not for money prostitution these days is for money some some prostitutes um, yeah, take for money. And you are the one who said that you said but to me prostitute Muta at the time was for a kilo of grain or rice it's the same same uh, if you if that you, was true my friend as it's the same if you give somebody a return for sleeping with you that is prostitution you know it can uh, be from God product, this, this product and the re reward can be changed like maybe in today you can send the pay by credit card but that will not change the fact that it's money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If a woman she sleep with you because you, you for, if a woman money for she sex sleep, is very bad. It's if a good. woman she sleep with you because you bought her uh, a gift, whatever, this is um, uh, this is prostitution. You know, it's it's product. It's a uh, it, obviously it says I showed you even the Islamic reference saying that this is an uh, uh, renting a woman, renting a woman uh, for the exchange of sexual pleasure. That's why it's called muta. Muta means uh, pleasure, correct? But how could um, let's say let let's uh, I admit this one? Um, how could Muhammad know about all these facts about the universe? Like what? And this I had thirty in Surah and Biyah. He he talks about the Big Bang, how the Earth was um, okay um, created. I think it's Surah and Biyah. I, I had thirty. Is, you don't need to tell me. Don't worry about it. This is why I'm a Christian prince, my friend. Okay. If we go to the verse, it's chapter two. we will find the following. Chapter 21, verse number 30. <clears throat> right away, you will see in the beginning that there is something silly and stupid in the verse. Read with me the first line, please. Can you read it for me? Yeah. Okay. What it says? Do not the unbelievers see hmm. that the Could Arabic... you turn to the Arabic one, please? No problem. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is the Arabic. Oh, let me all the kafar and the sama all other kind of conf of the Khmer. Did you notice with me what is a stupid mistake there? You are the one saying yes, to me, Yes, it's a mistake. Yara, it can't be Yara because right. you can't Thank see you what happened. You are back a smart there person. Thank you. Here we go. Guys, how, how this is a scientific discovery? And he is saying, Don't they see Yara? Okay, yeah. so what he's talking about, they are talking about that the Arab at that time uh, believe uh, that Allah he raised the sky up, it was together and he raised them up. Where is the Big Bang? It says that the earth and the sky were joined together, which means there was earth and there was a sky. This is not what the Big Bang is saying. I don't believe in the Big Bang, by the way, but I'm going with you. So if there is earth, there is a sky, or what we did, we split them. But this is this is not true. But and Big Big Bang is not the fact. Big Bang is the most... Is a theory. Um, it is a theory. Most well, no, it is a theory. Plausible a theory, you can say. Uh, well, yes. it, it's uh, this is up to you. But anyway, the Quran did not only hear he make a mistake. Secondly, if you read uh, the 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 chapter you choose, it says, "And we had set on the earth mountains standing firm, so it should not shake on them." The fact is, the mountains are not set on the top of the earth. The mountains are coming down from the deep earth. When the tectonic plates, they meet each other. The yeah, mountain is a product of, of volcanoes. Volcanoes or tectonic plates. Like when, when tectonic layers yeah. erupt. Okay, so, but here, yeah. here is saying the opposite. All the lovers. Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth, so it's not going to shake on us. So the Quran is described... Is it 31? The huh? Did you say 30 or 31? Uh, we are reading second, both sorry. 30 and 31. So the first one is wrong. Secondly, and we will explain to you how he claimed that the, the first one, how it worked. So now, he, Allah, he left up huh, the sky. And later we'll show you in different verse, he made it a roof. 
and here he is saying that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Do you believe in this? Is that accurate or this is false? Mm, scientifically, this is uh, doesn't make sense to me. Okay, but you are the one who chose this chapter for me, but, not me. But I didn't say thirty-one. I said thirty. No problem. So thirty and thirty-one. They confuse no each other. If this is a we mistake, have set on on the earth. Yeah. Mountains standing firm. Mm. And the purpose what? They will not shake on us. Japan is a country have between an average of eight hundred to two thousand earthquake a day and it's all of it is mountains actually the reason they have mountains is because there's earthquakes and volcanoes and etc so here muhammad he exposed his his fabrication now read with me carefully and we made the heavens as a canopy well guarded is that the atmosphere no i'm i'm, I'm shocked now Oh, is, is that that because I heard Muslims saying that this is the atmosphere? Yes, they are right because the translation they get, I'm afraid, in in other languages like yeah, English. Yeah. So does it, sound, does it sound like this is the atmosphere? No. What the Quran is speaking of, that Shaitan he try to spy at Allah, and Allah will shoot the Shaitan by a star. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Do you really believe in this? That the stars mm -hmm. are made to shoot Shaitan in his ass if you try to spy? And we have guarded it. What is the heaven? Allah claiming that only the lowest heaven have stars. And this is where some Muslims, they lie, and they say that this is speaking about the atmosphere, but if this is the atmosphere, it's mean only in the atmosphere we have stars. So we have created the uh, the, the stars and we made them only in the in, in the lowest heaven as to beautify the uh, for the beholder and the top of that and we have guarded it which mean what the near heaven with from every outcast shaitan okay how he cast how, how he cast shaitan out except him the devil that gain hearing by stealing he is pursued by a clear flaming fire do you believe in this mm. how Allah shoot shaitan Muhammad he captured the shaitan he tied him in, up in the column of the of the mosque so such a small uh, tiny creature Allah he will shoot a star to do what so where do you where do you get this translation from? Who cares? You speak Arabic. Uh, you can change translation. Chapter fifteen, verse number eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. You can read in Arabic. Even the, even the Shaitan. English ones have different. Everyone translated it because they lie. Because simply many of them, what they do. Yeah, that's translate. that's what what may, makes me very angry about it. Yeah, they they lie in order to make you like deceiving people. I cover. feel sorry for those um, innocent Muslim coming here and swearing at people. But, the, but remember, the remember, remember, you said to separate. me, either you are a big fat liar, so you were not far away from them just uh, 15 minutes ago. You thought I am a fat liar. You yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So what do you think? Is that from God or this is stupid? And then here he says, and the earth was spread out. Is the earth spread out no. like a carpet? I don't know what is your education. What is the what is the geoscience? Where is the, uh, this? Is my field? This is your field. That's I wonderful. Studied geoscience. Okay, yes. Geos that's wonderful. Okay, where is the where is the hail is coming from? Because listen, um, the beginning elements were hydrogen. Okay, hmm. so Surat Anbiya. I'm I'm thinking of if if God meant. He separated Earth from the skies. Mm. If he meant the Big Bang, let's say, doesn't even make sense either. Because um, the Earth is is very very young compared to the beginning of the universe. Okay, because the 
the primary elements like hydrogen was at the beginning of the universe but earth is containing iron which takes billions of years okay to appear okay so you can't stick a plastic to a gold they don't stick together they are different you see i am i am not uh, but i'm i'm try i will i will chase these verses um, okay. as long as long this is your, your this is your science and this is your study i want to ask you where is where is hail coming from hail hail yeah hail the, the... hail hail is 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 a water okay water uh, affected by the uh, arctic wind very cold arctic wind and they became hail that's that's, okay. that's how it's made so you don't think it's coming from mountains and Allah he break hail from those mountains mountains yeah what do you mean mountain mountains like in the sky there's mountains and Allah he break with the hammer hail and he throw it at us what is it in the Quran I'm just asking you now before we talk about from where do you believe no I don't, I, even if if I, if I say that myself I wouldn't believe it I wouldn't take it for granted. Okay, but if we find it, hail is coming from the sky. It's the vaporization of of our oceans. Okay, right. in a dense cloud, they they become hail, snow, or rain. All right. So if I find it for you from the Quran, are you willing to leave Islam? Um, I can't decide now because I need to lots of things to chase. It doesn't matter but, if, uh, if this one is a lie. I mean, the rest is a lie. I mean, you just say this is impossible. This no, is I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not hypocrite. Um, I, I, I don't deny any mistakes. If I do okay. a mistake, I but put if, my hands if up. The Quran, if my the father Quran, do a mistake, if the Quran then... is invalid no more. Islam is gone. Chapter twenty-four. You are the one. If who this, me. All the, if these are true, my friend. Yes, okay. I, I you will denounce listen. Islam. All right, that's wonderful, guys. He said he promised he would denounce Islam. The same chapter, you are the one who asked me to go to the chapter of Anur before, chapter 24, verse number 43. You can read in Arabic, you can read in English, in any war, any language you want. In English, they try to fabricate and to change the meaning. But I will show it to you in Arabic. And as long as you speak Arabic, me and you, we will get better understanding. It says mm -hmm. here, Min baradin for you sleep with him and yesha. Does it say that or I'm lying? Yes, it's very clear. All right. You promised you will denounce Islam. Hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, even cartoon, they don't do that. And look here in the first translation. I want you to confirm this with me. I believe somebody mixed uh, somebody mixed these things into Quran when they uh, my friend, my friend, there's, there's nothing called book. Books. Either it's this is from God. Either this is so. This is not a book of God. And look what, here. As long as you speak Arabic, why the Muslims they lie and they say like mountains? Does it say like mountains in the Arabic? No, the, the, anything between these two brackets. Uh, don't so they just, are trying. Don't, they are trying. They are trying to cover yeah. to cover up. So look, they send down from the sky from mountains. From mountains, which is in heaven, hail. No, it doesn't make sense. So they fabricate the translation in order to cover the stupidity. Whoever wrote this book is is a foolish. You have, you know, this is maybe work for people who whoever don't. whoever whoever this bit this part here whoever written didn't have a clue about anything in the sky but well, what's going on in the sky assuming that the one who did this is Allah Allah have no clue what about this I don't believe I don't believe this is from a God look at no. this Allah he created the three kind of a creatures because one of the one of the um, principles of being a God is do not afford any mistakes hmm. what makes me different from God is I am doing mistakes I do a lot of mistakes but God should be a little bit different from me no mistakes well, my friend, from the first page of the Quran to the last page, I can show you English mistakes. I'm not showing you really mistakes. I'm I'm just showing you a chapter you, you choose yourself to prove to me Islam to be true. So Islam is the most silly 
cult and now you understand why I am saying it's a cult you said you said why I'm calling Islam as a cult now you promise me if I show you this and this way was true you will leave Islam correct yes are you willing to keep your promise yes so are you denouncing Islam if, if this is all true we heard Islam is a cult so you agree Islam is a cult yes thank you very much because a go an order from God okay could never be bypassed by any man that's one never I'm really happy for you because if if that happens God loses its status as God you can call it something else mm. okay if a president if for example a Trump if Trump makes an order let's say Iranian is not allowed to enter the USA and an officer a police officer in the airport said no forget about Trump I'm in charge here he's gonna go to prison or Trump loses his status so now compare that to God Almighty God it doesn't make a sense my friend absolutely hypocrisy no. is not in my mind I listen to reality I listen to proof evidence but you know you as a as a person who like today after this but, moment you are a Muslim I can't call you a Muslim no more but I want to ask you when the Muslims they say there is science and the Quran and etc why they lie why they fabricate things so I was going to ask you this question why this they either make money because they there are lots of books um, in London you go too many libraries Islamic libraries they selling billions of dollars a year on books they get in from probably the Arab countries um, for printing these books because the books are obviously very very expensive yeah they all laminated nice colored you know and pictures it, it, and you're I, reading. I think it, it, it and, cost fifty dollars each and they insert, but they sell them for cheap they insert articles about scientists or sometimes sometimes fake scientists and sometimes real scientists just to fool people saying Quran match with science no you don't have to do that no Muslims if any Muslim is listening to me if if anybody any Muslim brothers or sisters trying to do that is fooling themselves because my God should be able to challenge somebody like me or Christian priest who is this guy who is Christian Prince how could he easily come and challenge my God with evidence is that what make you angry because I was like a whole yes. Christian Prince <laughs> but, but what makes me angry is people fabricating to the facts that yeah I never fabricate you see this is why I go live and I say people you can call me and you can question and you overcome I never I never uh, I never everything I say I show in the screen everything every single word it's it's my fault because um, um, I should have I did, I did have a chance to chase the facts but I just kept it you know under the blanket as we say so my friend I am a Christian as you know and I take the opportunity to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior you left Islam that's wonderful for me I'm not done to save you yet I did the half of the job and I would love to invite you to accept the what, Messiah as what would you recommend me to read because I'm gonna again like Islam I'm not gonna just take Islam like another religion like that no, no I will read no, about it no absolutely not. okay no you can and read if you can read if Christianity does make a sense to me yes I will call call you back in a month time probably all right and we will have a chat all right if okay. not I can still come back and uh, telling you about you know arguing Christianity as well because I don't I'm not scared to talk about Christianity if even if if I know 100% is from God no, neither we are we, this is why we are God <laughs> should challenge all all of us yeah you are welcome my friend anyway God's take, word take should time. be like a read, atomic bomb read the, nobody could read the, read face the, it the, read the four Gospels you know of, of, uh, of Christ and you know try to when you read try to like uh, you see I'm sure you are smart 
what's uh, this uh, uh, um, story behind the Old Testament and New Testament? What is the problem? There's no, there's no story. It's the Old Testament. It's simply the Old Testament is a book about God and history in the same time. The history of the Jews with God. Right. As simple as that. So the Jews, uh, uh, the Old Testament is a book of books. It's not one book. And this book contains their history with people around them and their history with God. How this they disobey him sometime, how they obey him sometime, how God he uh, he was uh, uh, he, he you know how they forsake their God sometime. So the Old Testament mostly is kind of a, a collection of many many stories about what happened to the Jews and the prophets uh, of the Jews. The New Testament is about Christ and what he accomplished in this earth when he came to us. And this is why so, I say, if you if somebody you, like me, where, where should the New Testament, the New start. Testament, because the, the, the Old Testament for me New is just to increase my knowledge about history of man with God. But the New Testament, so why they say it's been uh, corrupted? Um, who says that? The Muslims. I've, well, I've, I heard uh, I heard from uh, too many Imams uh, the Bible, oh, it's, it's corrupted. It's, hmm. You see, the Imams, this is the problem is, the Imams are, they are, you remember when you called me, says either you're a big fat liar, the Imam are the big fat liar. I will show you something from the Quran and you tell me what you you translate to us. Uh, let me open the Quran. All right. This is the Quran, I will put it in the screen. What musaddiqan lima ma'ahum mean? Confirming what is with them, correct? We need to refresh. And when they come to them, and when they came to them. Somebody saying that you are crying. Are you crying, my friend? No. Okay. If I'm crying, I, I would cry for myself. I would cry for all. Yeah, I'm saying. So, so I mean, yeah, there's not nothing wrong with the crying from from. Chasing uh, rainbow. Yeah. I'm crying for my childhood. I'm crying for my youth. Oh, you are crying then. Okay, I understand. That that you know, let uh, cry and let uh, the tears wash the anger. Nothing wrong with the crying. But I, I haven't I haven't killed anybody for my faith. I understand. Yeah. I was always showing a right, you know, the beautiful face of Islam. Um, I didn't know all about all this. Well, I'm happy for you, my today, friend. My friend, you called me, and I'm glad that you, you know, uh, you were able to call and uh, crying. You know, uh, great men they cry. And David, we cry today. We cry always, you know, and cry can wash our sin. That's wonderful. Don't worry about it. So do you see? They said, they said to you that the Bible is corrupt, but the Quran says, and this is the Muslim translation, which is strange that this translator here is not being a hypocrite too much. It says, confirming what is with them, the Jews, which is the Torah, and the Injil, which is the Christian, the Gospel. Mm -hmm. So how they lie? And why? The Quran is saying, confirming what is with them with them now yeah i see they lie to you my friend they are a bunch of liars yeah anyway i'm not going to put uh, too much pressure on you i can tell you are crying and uh, uh, we are you know all the christians there they are praying for you well thank you very much for yeah. all this um written everything um, have a chat with some no. well what you about know, if they have um, what about you challenge them to come and debate me let us make a challenge if they yes dare. that's what i was gonna say yes yeah let us see if they dare to do it and you will see they were never there yeah. they were never the only way they will come to debate me if you don't tell them christian press don't tell them who i am tell them i want to i will call this guy and you debate him live if you tell them this is a christian press that will never happen. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. We are happy for you. 
and I ask all the Christians in the in the chat we have more than a thousand people they are listening please pray for this gentleman I do not know your name by the way but you don't need my to name is Muhammad Muhammad uh, uh, yes. guys pray for our brother Muhammad and this is the beautiful thing about Christianity even if your name is Muhammad oh. still you are beloved by the Lord the Messiah and I hope soon you will see the truth and the truth will set you free the Messiah he said I am the truth which means there's no other truth except me so I pray to the Lord that he will bring you to the truth and you will be free it will not be I a beg, slave of Allah I beg my Muslim brothers and sisters to stop swearing writing dirty messages chase the evidence chase your own book do not swear at anyone swear at the Imams who lie to you every day with a big smile on the face they lie to you and they smile I always notice that when when they have a big smile they 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 lie some something very big they lied about something very very big all right my friend. because how can i how can i lie about god's god's words how can i change god's words if i if i know this is from god i would i wouldn't dare to, to change it but i believe these people don't even believe in god if you believe in god you would you wouldn't dare to touch his word and what kind of how God, can you fabricate what kind of God he can protect his book how the Muslim is saying that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and then the Injil is corrupt I mean this is this is an insult to their God <laughs> you know what I mean it's you you buy a, you buy a BMW from BMW with three years warranty they say if you touch if you fabricate anything your warranty will expire because we made this car nobody can you know find a mistake uh, so how about God's words? How could you fabricate God's words? How he you can't even fabricate your BMW. How we allow them. And you know, uh, once I ask a Muslim Sheikh, you, uh, you know, he says to me that the Bible is corrupt. So I ask him, uh, before I show him those verses, I said, okay, was it fabricated by Allah's will or against his will? He said, I need to think about this and I will call you back. And since then, he never called me back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happen, happens to me when I, I ask too many questions, um, <laughs> to be honest. When they ask too many questions, they, they try to, you know, not to see me. They pretend to be busy. They call me back. They give me a call. They have appointments, this and that. But it's, it's just running away from the facts. But you see, as long as you notice that they are they are trying fooling around you know why you were not sure I mean why you were why you waited all this time uh, I mean you notice that there is something fishy yeah because 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 they am they uh, I wake up in the morning five o'clock in the morning I go to work they don't work they never work they make easy money that's why hmm. All right. That's why this is a good business for them. That's why well, I believe that's why they lying about it. They I'm, want to keep the business. I'm happy for you, my friend, that you decide to leave Islam. Thank you very and, much uh, for everybody. You can call me anytime you wish, feel free, and I will be happy. Uh, I appreciate you. that. All right. Take Thank care, you, my friend. God bless. Take care. All right. That's wonderful. It was, uh, it's always like this. You see, when a Muslim, he called me, he's upset, he's angry. You he must be, a, uh, either you are a big fat liar. That's what he said. But am I? Everything I say, I show in the screen. Live evidence. And no Muslim, they are really, especially, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, most of Muslims are poor people. They will lie to those who he said, our friend here, I don't know, his name is Muhammad, right? He said Muhammad. Uh, 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 the, the one who claimed to be Imam, why they will not debate me? Because as he said, they are doing business. They will destroy their career. It's a big mistake. That's why I always they try to debate somebody. He's an American. You know not too much about Islam because it doesn't matter really how much you try to learn about Islam as long as you don't speak Arabic still you are limited because as you see 
like even if you read all the books about Islam in English which is not translated in English the translation always they play with there's no translation you can trust there's no even act even the Muslims don't accept the translations for the Quran because they knew that the translation is meant to lie so we can convert some Christians some Hindus some Buddhas and some atheists the translation is not meant to translate anyway guys I'm not going to stay longer maybe many of you would like to talk to me but honestly I'm really getting tired I did not eat since yesterday and um, I better stop here otherwise this is endless uh, subscribe to our channel feel free to download all my videos and always if you don't find my video you can go and you can click at patreon always I update the link because people download my videos and we update the link which is in a patreon so or you can search the same title uh, in YouTube uh, sometimes people they change it. just be sure you filter but like the last 24 hours so you will not go to an older video uh, and you can find always the video which we uh, have already so uh, the video it might take some time before you can download it maybe 20 30 minutes maximum and then you can download and feel free post my videos whatever you wish actually I encourage you to do that because the whole point of what we do is spreading the message this is not about Christian Prince you do not know who I am you have no idea who I am my real name is not a Christian Prince or what I confront to you I am a Christian and he made me a prince humbly we follow the Messiah and he is the king of the kings and there's no better name better than his name they can say whatever they want they can try to fight him they can to fabricate lies about him but he is the truth even in the devil book even the devil he could not deny the Messiah this is why Muhammad he says that the Messiah is the Spirit of God he is the Word of God and he is born from no father for he is the Son of God and right now as we speak even according to the yellow pages of the Quran he is in heaven listening to us the Messiah he said every two of you mention my name I will be between you he is the Alpha he is the Omega and I pray that next time we hear from our friend Muhammad we will hear from him that he accepted the Messiah as his personal Savior because Christ is a personal Lord Muslims thank you everybody for being here may the Lord bless you all and until we see you again maybe tomorrow Christ is Lord and Islam is false Thank you very much. Take care.